Welcome to my world. Hello. I know that I'm a day late getting this edited and posted, but I have not been feeling the greatest, and I'm sure you can hear that in my voice. So, with these two frogs, we're going to be using Eye Candy's Neon Micas. So, we're going to make twin frogs. And this video, when I started putting it together, is super, super long. Um, I'm looking at it, it is at 85 minutes. So, I will most definitely need to be cutting and trimming and fast forwarding a lot. So, I do apologize for that, but I do want to make sure that you know in advance, I am using Magic Resin, as always, and we are using Eye Candy Neon Pigments, and these frog molds you can get off of Amazon, you can get them off of Timu, um, just about anywhere. They're just basic frog molds. The round container that you will see me brushing my brush off in or cleaning it that is an eye makeup switcher it goes by multiple different names but you can pick them up at the dollar tree dollar tree um you can pick them up a more expensive at walmart you can order them in multiples like two or four from amazon but what it is it's like a dry sponge in there that sits inside that tin and when you run your brush back and forth across it, it will remove the powders. Now, sometimes with these neon powders, you will see me taking a napkin and wiping further to get the neons off. Okay, nothing wet in between your micas. All right, guys, um, I will also be using fairy stickers you can order those from Amazon. You can also get them on Timu, but they are the washi tape style stickers. They have the clear, they're clear. And we will be using the steampunk style keys. I use the, the metal ones, not the plastic ones. I like the metal ones so that they don't float. You can order those from Amazon. You can also get them on Timu. I will be using crushed crystal in my resin by Unicorn Art. I purchased that from Amazon. The little um, dried flowers, the small ones, I purchased those from Timu. And the little small, they're, they're small, you will see them, me put them in the frogs. The acrylic butterflies, I purchased them from Timu. I will try to put all of these links in the description if you're watching me on YouTube. If you're not watching me on YouTube and you would like all this information, you can go to my YouTube channel and I will put that. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, that was workflow. That's what actually pays the bills. Um, so my YouTube is at addicted to resin, all one word, addicted to resin. Shannon Johnson is my name, but you can find me at addicted to resin. And hey, follow me, guys. Follow me. I I need you. Subscribe. Um, doesn't cost you anything to to watch what I post. I just need you. And I appreciate you. All right, so I pretty much I'm going to, you, you're going to see exactly everything that I'm doing here. Oh, I forgot. So I use iridescent marbles in this frog as well. You will see me putting those in because I want to give it like a warped type, but also a dimension. And it actually helps to separate the washi stickers that I put in there from like the keys and other things that are in there, but you'll see me do that. So yes, uh, iridescent marbles, they're glass marbles. I found them in a thrift store in Florida, so I can't tell you where to get them, but 
that's what you're going to see. All right, enjoy. Thanks, guys. Tape is your bestie. I thought I'd show you the silicone gloves, the reusable ones. I'm not a fan. These are the smallest that they come in. I wear a small glove regularly. Um, so these still have just a little bit too much. I don't know. Yeah, you can see. It's a little bit too much left over. But I'll show them to you. I ordered these from Timu. But you can get them from Timu. They're silicone gloves and it's one pair in the box. Um, I don't know if that number 338418 means anything. <clears throat> but anyway, if you just search silicone gloves or reusable silicone gloves on Timu you'll find it so I've got 16 ounces of magic resin mixed up guys I wish I wish if I if if I could wish anything for you I wish for you to try magic resin now my temperature in here right now is at 66 degrees my resin was around 65 degrees a handy dandy thing from Timu this is a fever thermometer, but it does surface or um, you can do surface or uh, I forget what the other one is. But anyhow, I have it set <clears throat> for surface and um, well, it's not reading right now. Oh, I got it on body. Dear gosh. There we go. Changed it to surface. It's at 75 degrees right now. I raised it to, uh, it was a little over 80 when I mixed it back in the B. And I used my Let's Resin mixer. And, um, yeah. Alright, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to tolerate these. I feel like I don't have control. But we're going to try to use them so you can see me using them. I use neon. I'm doing fairy, uh, steampunk, cross, um, frogs for my next show. I ordered these fairy stickers from Amazon. You can just look up floral fairy stickers. Um, you the 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 option is like 
so many okay <coughs> um, these are just little acrylic butterflies from Timu it's real easy to look up acrylic butterflies craft put all those little keywords in you'll find them these are metal not plastic I prefer metal Timu guys Timu everything Timu um, the neon powders are eye candy um, we're going to put in a little crushed crystal from unicorn art Amazon iridescent marbles I can't tell you where I, I bought these at a thrift store in Florida so <clears throat> here's the process I need to get a little bit of resin down in there and I want to just just a little bit of alcohol because I don't want to get the alcohol on the mica that I painted so I'm just going to do this I want to make sure there's a little bit down in the head so forth and so on um, very colorful frogs today all right so first things first um, I want to coat my um, butterflies and a little bit of resin I'm just gonna put just a few of them in there I'm not gonna put a lot because I'm gonna split it up between the two that's all we're gonna do put these up see I don't have a lot of control with this with this this here kind of OCD about stuff and I'm really I'm really I'm really struggling with this so we'll see how long I'm gonna struggle before I go to the other gloves I'm just gonna put a little bit of resin in that cup and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of resin over here a little bit more than a little bit um, probably about an ounce of resin in that cup all right <clears throat> This, we're just gonna let it mix. I, I want these coated, so we're just going to do that. And I'm gonna set those to the side. And I'm going to take, and I'm going to put just a tad bit, because with this, a little bit goes a long way. I'm talking that much in there. I mean just a minute, <coughs> maybe a sixteenth of a teaspoon, if we were if we were measuring by that. It was about a sixteenth of a teaspoon. And go ahead and stir that in a little bit. Get that mixed up. I just want a little bit of shimmer. You can see the shimmer up right there. Okay, so I'm really struggling with these gloves. Bear with me. So what I want to do is I need to get some of this resin into the into the head like that. Okay, um, I'm just gonna put it into the head. Then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna take a butterfly or two, and I'm gonna put them into the head. I want a couple of butterflies or more in the head. There. All right, now I got three. I want to try to to keep them from moving. So I'm not going to move this frog around a whole lot. We're going to do the same with this. I want to put some of this into the head like that. <clears throat> And I want to put the butterflies in. There's a yellow one. And there's one that's really pretty. It's almost like it's red and blue. And there's a pink one. All right. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Where did I put... I'll have to look for it. <clears throat> All right, so I can see right now this butterfly already moved out of the head. I'm going to push him right back up in there. And I know you can't really see what's going on. You don't want to move him a lot. All right, so 
We need to get these fairies because I picked these fairies out that come with in that box. We're gonna get those put in there. Now, what I need to do is I need to, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop another butterfly in a little further back. I'm gonna do the same over here. Look guys, I ended up with exactly 10 butterflies. That's pretty cool. Okay, those in like that. So we need to get enough resin in and I don't, I don't want those moving too much. So there you go, I'm pushing stuff in too, too fast. I'm gonna use my stick to kind of block it. Okay. Keep those up in there. And what I need is enough resin in the frog that the fairies can lay. Gonna give that a minute to get the bubbles out <coughs> but what I also need to do is add a little bit more resin and we're gonna dip the fairies and the florals Oop, there we go got a mess um, I don't want that mess on my hands let's do this and I know these gloves can be wiped I don't feel like dealing with it so we got that handle off. Um, I want to dip a fairy into the resin. I want the fairy coated with the resin so that we have less chances of bubbles being trapped underneath the fairy. So let's do that one. And I've already measured it to make sure that I could get this fairy with the head up in there. If I can work with it. There we go, maybe. All right, see how it lays there? I just need to make sure there's no bubbles underneath it. I'm gonna do the same with this one right here. It looks like I need, there's a bubble. See, I can see a bubble right there. Let's do this. I'm trying to remove the bubble. Now let's get this one dipped in the resin. And these gloves make it awkward for me. But I, like I said, I wanted you to see me using them because they are reusable. Tweezers. Here we go. And you can see it flattening out. Awesome. I don't see any bubbles underneath it. Now these are stickers. So if you wanted to use them another way, they do have a backing and they are stickers. There's no reason for me to, to remove they're backing for this. All right. Now I need to add just a little bit more of this to this. <clears throat> Stir that around because I want to make sure everything has a slight shimmer to it. I'm watching my fairies. I'm 
go ahead and <clears throat> and I just want to lay that across like that. So far, I've only trimmed this down to 74 minutes, so we're going to need to fast forward this so I remove the original audio. All right, guys. Hey guys, so the frogs are looking awesome. More the frog in my throat. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I feel like I'm losing my voice. My throat does not hurt. But I feel like I'm losing my voice. So maybe I have laryngitis. So we're going to add some crushed crystal to this. And, um,. I'm not going to put a lot because I, I don't want it overwhelming. And this is, again, Unicorn Art Crust Crystal. You can get that on Amazon. I've never really looked for it anywhere else. I know you can probably get it somewhere else, but that's just where I purchased it from because Prime and it gets here pretty quick. This is Magic Resin, and I did um, two and a half ounces of A and two and a half ounces of B. My ambient room temperature is 67, my resin was at like 65. So I warmed part A in the warm water to 82 degrees, and then I mixed in part B and let's see where it's at right now. It's at 76.5. So we're good. Now I'm going to let this sit here and debubble for a few minutes because I have been mixing and stirring and mixing and stirring. We're not pouring deep and we're using magic resin. So um, typically I don't have um, too many issues with bubbles. It uh, does a good job of taking care of itself. You can see the bubbles kind of popping. But most of what you're seeing through there is the uh, the crushed crystal. I'm gonna let that sit. We'll be back. Alright, I sprayed this surface with alcohol. This surface. I'm not spraying this because we've got mica on there. Um I may put a few more of these little butterflies in here just because I like them. These butterflies come from Timu. If you look up uh, acrylic butterflies on Timu, um, you should be able to see them. 
They're just adorable. I just love them. They do have a front and a back to them. I'm going to go ahead and put like four more in each. I've got to definitely get on there and order some more of these. They're so adorable. You may be able to find them on Amazon. I don't know. But I've just become so adjusted to Timu. And a lot of people are like, well, their quality is not the same. Guys, I'm just going to tell you what you're buying off of Amazon and in other locations, other stores and stuff, are what people are buying and reselling to you from Timu. So, that's the majority is. So, Alright, so let's go ahead and just, I want to just slowly add. Um, I really, I really don't like this cup. I don't like it because I can't squeeze it. I just don't want to don't want to have to transfer. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not a fan. We're going to pour some into this cup here. <clears throat> there we go. Now I feel better. Like there's something I got it there was there's a little something something in that paw or in that go foot okay, I'm gonna stop and my tip of the crafting syringe that I always use I think I accidentally threw it away and so I haven't actually pulled another tip out. So I just grabbed this. Got these. I got some of these with uh, uh, free items with a purchase. I think it was from Casey Resin. Yeah. But when somebody sends you these little things, are awesome. That you know, little little things mean a lot. These little things that we use. I'm going around real easy around the edges. I, I'm going to try to eliminate possible bubbles, but I don't want to mess up my mica. So, okay, and I'm going to make sure I get resin in all of his little feet, his little, little toes. Just kind of move the resin up into the toes. Make sure you're getting good solid contact with the resin up into the toes because the toes are the weak point in this mold. The toes are the weak points.
And when you fill it, just fill it up here in this little paw pads here, and it'll flow down into the body. All right, this looks cool. We're gonna watch it while we, you see how I'm just touching in, just making sure that I've got good, good amount of resin, no air bubbles in his little toes. Like I said, the toes are the weak points on this mold. They're the thinner areas. Kind of run your through. You just want to run it so you can make sure there's no air bubbles trapped. All right, let's work on this one. <clears throat> Love the butterflies. Okay, let's pour a little bit more in this cup. I love how this crushed crystal just makes this pop like the colors on those flowers and the butterflies and it just it just is such an addition. All right, guys, moment of truth.
Wow. I just had to throw that in. Wow.